What is going on everybody, Art Kendry here with a new list video for you guys today. Today I want to talk about the new things I want to see in Dragon Dogma 2. Now, I don't know if there will be a sequel or not, but speculating that there, that there is, I'm going to you know give my opinion on what I think will be some things I want to see additions to the game or fixes to the game for you know a, a sequel if Capcom makes one. So I'd say I'm a diehard fan of the game and its lore. I put a lot of time into it. I'm, I'm an avid player of RPG games. There are a lot of things that the first game failed to do that other RPGs have as basic features that I think in order for this game to go even beyond what it already is, which is a great RPG, to be even, you know, in the upper echelon of RPGs, it will be to have these basic features and fix the current things that are in the game that aren't, you know, perfect. This list is not in any kind of order, it's not like 1 through 5 or 1 through 10 or whatever, it's just, you know, just random things that I thought of, my opinions on, you know, what they could do to improve the game. So let's get started. Now first on the list is an actual fast travel option to, you know, at least major zones of after those zones are discovered. Now, I know there are port crystals and fairy stones, and even an eternal fairy stone, but that isn't good enough, and, you know, items shouldn't be used in order to fast travel. I don't mind walking around, exploring the world, discovering everything, finding hidden passages, things of that nature, but it wouldn't be so bad to just have, you know, a map and click on, you know, Grand Soren and tra just travel to it. Or travel to like a, a, some kind of like waypoint on the on the maps that you can fast travel to. This is more so a convenience thing than anything else. It's not you know groundbreaking that there's poor crystals and fairy stones, but for convenience reasons, it'd be just better to have actual fast travel options. This would be way more convenient than finding a port crystal and placing them in locations. You know, I, I think I'll visit again later into the game. Then using fairy stones to actually get to those. Now, yes, there's the eternal fairy stone that you can use infinite amount of times. So you don't have to you know find or buy fairy stones, but still would be more convenient just, you know, to head to the map and click a location and, and just fast travel to it. You know, you can have something that's very similar to that with your threes, where there's these fast travel posts. You can't fast travel just by clicking on things on the map. You have to first travel to a post that allows you to fast travel, then you have to fast travel from that post to another fast travel post. So you got something like that. That way you still are, you know, encouraging people to explore and find these posts and find these locations and things like that. They still have to walk around and explore and still, you know, use horses or whatever. But, you know, you still have to get to that post in order to fast travel. So I just think it would be an easier and more convenient thing to have some similar to Witcher 3's fast travel than, you know, have a fairy stone and port crystals. Sticking with that theme... Mounts. Considering the size of most current generation RPGs, a new Dragon's Dog can be pretty fucking huge. Even the current game is pretty big, but an, e an even bigger scale game will have a very huge map. It would be insane to have to walk around that entire map. Now, can you imagine walking around this, the Witcher 3's map, or even a bigger map than that? It will take forever to get around that map if you're just walking the entire time. So, like Witcher 3, have mounts. Witcher has mounts, Dragon Chaz has mounts, Skyrim has mounts, have mounts in Dragon's Dogma 2. It would just be a very good addition to that game. You know, games where it's optional to get on a mount like Dragon Age and Skyrim, you can walk every one in a game. You don't have to touch a horse at all in Dragon Age Inquisition or in Skyrim, but if you want to, you can. So just having the option in Dragon's Dogma 2 to use a mount will be a great addition to the, the series and to the game. After that, something that the next game needs is a load save option. In Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, even in the base game before Dark Arisen, you cannot load a hard save. You can load in an auto save checkpoint, but you cannot load a hard save. This is silly. The next game needs to allow you to load from a hard save. With that, have multiple save slots so we can have multiple playthroughs without saving over a previous playthrough. And frankly, you can avoid people having you know, to start all the over because of a crowd save if you can just allow them to load a hard save you know because if you don't understand what, like what this what this means because you can you know you, you can you can save the game where you're wherever you're at after you're not in combat but you can't like load a particular save you can't just you know put up the, pull up the, a load option and pick this save or that save you can't just pick this save or that save. You can only save from whatever your last save point was. So whatever that last auto save was, or whatever that last hard save was. But you can't actually load an individual hard save. So you need to have a save, a, a loading and save option that allows you to individually go to your hard slate, your hard saves, and pick that. The next thing is you need to have something for us to spend money on in Dragon's Dogma. In Dragon's Dogma, getting coin is very easy, and it won't be long before you have millions of coin in the game. Big reason why you have so much money in Dragon's Dogma is because there's not really anything to spend money on. After you come across you know, an armor set you like, or 
armor uh, armor com combination that, that you like, you'll max that out with en enhancements, and that's it. You never buy armor, you never buy weapons again. Majority of the characters you can you'll you'll need can be found around the world, so you don't need to spend money on potions and the likes. So you will amass a large amount of coin in this game very very fast, and you have nothing to spend it on. Dragon's Dogma needs to have something that you can actually spend that coin on instead of just piling up millions of uh, millions of coin. You know, so add things to the game that you, you want to spend our coin on, like mounts, different kind of mounts, cosmetic things for those mounts, you know, treasure maps, houses, decoration for your houses, cosmetic things, really good armor sets, and so on and so on and so on. And that's kind of something that I also think that you add. Houses, you know, you shouldn't have to always just spend 500 or 50 coin on, you know, going to a, a, a rest house. Now, how about you, we, uh, you allow us to, to buy a house in Grand Soren, or buy a house in this location, that location, or any kind of locations you add to the game, and we can just decorate the house as we go along, and, and things like that. It would be, you know, just a cool thing to do, a cool little miniature thing to do inside the game, within the game. The next thing is something that, that generates different opinions out the ass when it comes to the RPG community, and that's romance. And that game needs to have a better romance system, or don't have one at all. When I said the community views this differently, by that I mean there are three types of op opinions when it comes to romance and RPGs. You have the people who love it and thinks it's, it adds to the game, and it increases immersion of role-playing games. And you have those people who, you know, they don't care for it, they don't think it should be in video games, period. It's just something that they don't really care about. And then you have people who are, you know, middle of the pack. They don't care either way. You know, they don't mind if it's in the game, but at the same time, they won't complain if it's not. I'm on the side that adds, that say it adds to immersion of role-playing games. But at the same time, I feel like if you're going to have a romance option in a video game, either put it on, you know, put some actual thought into it, and care about it, like a Bioware does with their games, what C Project does with their games, or don't have it in your game at all. In the first Dragon Dogma, the romance system is terrible. It's based on who has the highest affinity for you, and that's about it. You don't really have a say in the matter on who you romance. If you want to romance Celine, you can't just simply talk to her a lot and then do a mission for her to get her to like you, and then be asked if you're interested in, in her or not. No, she'll get her affinity max, but if you end up uh, getting Eleanor or Mercedes or whoever the affinity up after you talk to Celine, then all of a sudden that person is now going to be your beloved, as they call it in the game, and you will get, you know... Eleanor or Mercedes or Madeline instead of Celine, who you wanted because the game system for romance is kind of just dumb. I'm not saying that there needs to be nudity and sex in Dragon's Dogma like The Witcher Mass Effect. Just saying put some actual thought into the romance system and not some half ass system that currently exists in Dragon's Dogma, or just don't have one at all. It's better to you know either go all in with something or don't have it at all than to have something that's half ass because when you have something that's half ass, it becomes a negative on that game. Last but not least, four-player co-op. The game needs to have a four-player co-op option. Now, this doesn't mean getting rid of the pawn system. Pawns stay in the game and are, you know, there for solo players or play or, or people, you know, who play the game with, with friends, but they're not online, so they, they can have the pawns there until those friends get online. But this franchise screens fun with friends, and it's blue balls talking to friends who are playing the same game as you and not being able to play together. So this this world will be great for a co-op kind of thing. And like I said, you can keep pawns in the game and use them when people are playing solo. But it'd be a great option to have you no know, co-op. Of course, to balance this, the game needs to be harder because four human control players will cakewalk through Dragon's Dogma. So beef up the game for co-op, but but lower it for solo players if possible. Overall, I love Dragon's Dogma. That's why I keep making videos about it. As I really wanted a sequel for this game. You know, I really want my friends to, to play Dragon's Dogma, so I talk them into it. They bought the remake. My friends also want a sequel. YouTube wants a sequel. Just look at the number of views I got and comments I have on my weirdest video for Dragon's Dogma. You know, this game has a strong fan base that wants more, and Capcom, you need to, to just listen to us and make another game. It would be silly for you to not make a sequel and make some money off the backs of us who we want the game. We, we want to pay you for a sequel. So just make that sequel so we can play it and take the things that I said in this video into account and improve upon what's already there. Don't just like ignore what what greatness Dragon Talk was. You know, add add upon what was there and make and finish what it already is. It's one of the best RPGs created. So tack on to that. Make it even better than being one of the best RPGs created. Make it the best RPG created. It will be silly for for them not to you know make a sequel for all platforms in my opinion. And thus they need to. With all that said, though, that is it for this video. I appreciate your Archangel, the real uninterrupted talent of YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do leave any thoughts you have in the comment section below. Check out the previous videos. Subscribe if you already have it and all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys next time. Enjoy your day.